Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, please consider leaving a like and a sub down below. And welcome to episode 15 of Pokemon Brook Brawn. If you guys didn't watch last episode, I'll give you a little rundown of what happened. So last episode, you know, we went to the fifth gym after helping the prince fight Team Eclipse. We had to shovel through all the sand, mine through all the stone. Then we ended up meeting the gym leader. It was a close battle. My talent flame was one shot, his guard chomp was one shot. I was luckily able to go first. Even though my attacks were infected, I was able to go first do enough damage then we won and we got our fifth gym badge this time we're starting somewhere a little different we're in anthean city because as you guys know we have an alakid and i looked up before i started this episode on how to get the battery you need to evolve him to electabuzz to electivire and i came to anthean city to see where i can get that and it's right over here park district you know around this corner oh shoot wait i went the wrong way there you go, through this part right here. Here it is. This right here, this Pokeball. Hot dog found the Electrolyzer. There you go. That's what it's called. Equip it to our battery boy right there. You know, he's a little chubby man. Look at him. But he's going to the gym. He's going to the gym, so he'll, he'll be up there later in the future. But now that we did that, we got to go back towards Iridia City. We're here in Iridia City. But before we do that, I also have to apply Rock Smash I got from the last gym. Here it is. And we're going to apply it to battery because I don't really like the moves he has. Let me know if I'm taking away a good move. I don't want to, you know, make him look really bad. But what I'm going to do is remove this. Thunder Wave, it paralyzes the opponent. Let me know if I should equip Thunder Wave again and get it back. But now we're gonna take away that. Now that we got Rock Smash, we could go back to where we couldn't go to last episode. It might have been episode 13, actually, where we couldn't go past this one part. So we're heading our way back. Pretty sure this is the correct way. Route 12, here you go. And I also put the comment on screen to the person who told me I have to go this way. So I would have saved this for another time. Thank you for the person who told me to go this way. Our first Rock Smash, here it is. A cracked boulder. A Pokemon may be able to break it. Would you like battery to use Rock Smash? Yes, indeed. There you go. And we encountered a Pokemon. The Webble. Oh, he's cute. He's a cute little Pokemon. But we're not here for you, buddy. We're here for our own adventure. Before we encounter that dude, let's just see where everything goes. You know, explore. Another rock we could break. So let's do that. We have to use Cut. Do we still have Cut on Sceptile? Please have Cut. I don't have Cut. Can I see what's behind there? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to see what's behind there. I'm going to have to go back and grab a Pokemon later on. Let me know if that's anything important and what is there. I assume it's just a Pokeball. Uh, this way. What is this? It's a dead end. All right, first trainer. Let's see what you got. Tall grass is so itchy. Not to mention, there are always scary wilds. Pokemon waiting for you in the grass. Let's have a battle away from the itchy grass. Okay. You could just walk inside, but instead you want to stand out here. What you got though? A wiggly tough. Plump little dude. All right. Leaf blade. Now one shot. Okay. He used disabled on me. Great. Dual shot. Doesn't affect wiggly tough. He's just disabled on that too. Oh, it failed. It failed. Uh, can I use leaf blade again? No, I can't. So I can only use it until I knock him out, I assume. Or maybe next battle. It wasn't effective, but we did destroy him. 2000 XP. Level 29 Goober. We got a Florges. I don't know who you are. Oh, okay. I know who you are. Let's try Dual Chop on you. Doesn't affect him. Uh, what do you use? Misty Terrain. Whatever that does. Uh, let's try Excisor. It's a bug type move. Come on. No, not good. It did some damage, I guess, but. Okay. Uh, we're just doing absolutely nothing to each other. Leaf Blade. Oh, Leaf Blade's good. I thought Leaf Blade was going to be bad. Seemed like a grass type to me. Losing battles also makes me itchy. You might just have lice, but you know, we can blame it on the grass. Oh, Goober. Yes, look at my boy. My boy's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, bye. Look at it. There you go. There's my boy. Honestly, I think if we meet Tess again, her Gabby is going to be evolved into a guard jump. Yeah, there we go. I know you guys like them long videos, so maybe this will be a long video. Please don't cancel anything. Please, please. We're chilling. Please, 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 please. Okay, come on. W. Let's see what we can do. Okay, another dude. What you got to say? Running through tall grass in my jeans is what life is all about. The wild Pokemon are usually the ones surprised to see me. My boy might just be on crack. Oh, you got a Tauros. First time seeing this Pokemon. Leaf play on Elo. More than half. Use this takedown. So he took some damage from the recoil, but. There we go. We should probably try Mega Drain to get some health back so we don't have to go back. Battery's level 30. Goober's level 30. Another Tauros. Now I want to stay. Let's use Mega Drain on him. See if we can get any health back. So we do have some potions just in case though, but I'd rather save those. Not too much health. He's a Swagger. My attack rose, but I'm confused. What kind of move is that? Is Confuse like always go or something? Is that why? Mega Drain. Wait, what is... What was the point of that attack? Let me know. Use Mega Drain. Might as well take away the rest of his health and give it to us. There we go. How you go, buddy? Does he have one more Pokemon? 1800 XP. Fletcher is level 31. He wants to learn the move. Natural Gift. Oh, let's see what that is. Natural Gift. Normal type move. Power 0. Actually 100. 15 attacks. Power and type depend on the user's held berry. No idea what that means, so we're chilling. Oh, he has a mill tank. He's <laughs> a mill tank. <laughs> Put those away, man. Put those away. This kid's watching. Leaf play. This guy might be an Epstein Island type of guy. Gotta get him out of here. Level 31 Goober. I'm the surprise one now. Indeed. Oh, shoot. Battery's evolving. Evolving into Electabuzz. This evolution is really ugly. 
He's so ugly. He's really chopped right now. Look at his unibrow. Unibrows are so ugly. What's good? We got two evolutions. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Here, another dude. This route's full of twists and turns. It could get confusing pretty quickly. Maybe a battle will help me gather my sense of direction. Maybe, man. Knock some sense into you, you know? Hit your head against the wall. It always helps. A nose pass. He's a living Squidward house. Leaf blade. This has to be good, right? It has to be. Yep, it is. Only 867 XP. Not even a thousand. Level 31 battery. Another nose pass. Nah, we're good. How much Pokemon does he have? Okay, we'll skip through it. Bro, look at his health. How does this always happen to me? How do I always do like one damage or I do like 99 damage instead of 100? Look at that. Speed through it again, I guess. Can this get any worse? I do it again to his health. For some reason, it doesn't do it to the other two. I don't know why it's been picking on who to get one HP. It's doing that for some reason. Then also get paralyzed. I'm testing my patience here. I told you guys, I'm a dangerous man. They don't want to do that. And they're giving me 800 XP just to put salt in the wounds, you know? A prowl pass. Is that like an evolution of a uh, nose pass? <laughs> dude, what is this dude? My boy's Italian. Leaf blade. Please just kill him. I don't have many leaf blades left. There you go. At least 900. 2,000. Okay. So 61 Raptor. I'm going to keep saying Raptor, dude. I know it's Raptor. I just can't get that through my head. So my bad if I keep saying the wrong name. Oh, that's right. My Pokemon could give me directions. 1,700. This guy shouldn't even be hiking if you can't even figure that out. But okay. Uh, Let's continue. How much more do we got? No clue. Oh. Oh. Come on, man. Let me just get over there. Hello, I bet you weren't expecting me. I definitely was not. People are just weird in this universe. You know, they like to hide around corners and just wait for people. They like to wait for little kids around the corner. My Pokemon are surprisingly tough. Oh, an Arcanine. I haven't seen him involved yet. Shoot. I mean, look at We only have Ruptor and Duke. So we're just going to send out Gengar, I guess, because the other ones are so low level and they're not even evolved yet. Uh, Shadow Ball. Nice. More than half. Oh, we got switched out for you. <laughs> yeah, bye. All right. Slash. Come on. Slash. Come on. That was a critical hit. Take out Duke again. He's his Fire Fang. Okay. That does some damage. You Shadow Ball again. I think he has one more Pokemon after this. If not, two. I forgot. Out you go, Arcanine. 2,244 XP. Almost level 54. 3,000 XP for Goober. Dang. He wants to learn the move Dragon Claw. Let's see what that is. Level 32 Battery. Level 33 Fletchender. He has a Zep Striker for his next Pokemon. Now we'll switch out uh, for our Sceptile. I have an Albino Zep Striker. He's blue. It was just a regular. You're a nobody. I got a Shiny. Leaf Blade. Nice. Yeah, I got to heal my Sceptile. 2,000 XP for that. Was this his last Pokemon? Level 54 Duke. Well, that's not right. D three. Oh, 3,000. Basically 4,000. Oh, what happened here? Look at that. What's that? Let's get there real quick. No, we can't do nothing with that. Save our progress. Eric's Moo Moo Milk. Okay. Let's enter this. Okay, my boys right here. Now, let me take a little flick with the boy real quick. There we go. Let's enter this building. Maybe there's something we get. Hello, ma'am. Oh, you got some extras for us. I have actually no idea what a Moo Moo Milk does, but I've seen it. I'm pretty sure at least. Unless I'm tripping. Our family has been revered for its quality Moo Moo Milk for generations. Oh, so I'm not getting anything. Okay. Mr. G. Can we enter here? Yeah. Okay, they got the cows here. Soon, I'm going to be distributing my Moo Moo Milk to the trainers like you. Unfortunately, my supply is not ready for that right now. Come back and check with me later. Okay. Let's continue on our way up this mighty mountain. Oh, let's go this way before we cross that bridge please don't catch or anything nice there's a guy right here the fish aren't biting for me today maybe i should get fishing a break and have a battle bro come on i didn't eat this battle right now please have water pokemon <laughs> okay bro why does everyone have a magic card put them back in the water man he's this flail critical hit and does what two damage he's good health there's our super potion basically oh he has a gyarados someone told me these guys are tanks let's try to leaf play please be good i don't want to take too much damage hyper beam oh okay Oh, I one-shot him. Okay. Critical hit. 2,000 XP. A quill fish. Okay. A little puffer fish. They have damage. My boy has some perky lips. Which is what he be doing. There you go. 995 XP. Level 33 battery. Goober level 34. I'm not having luck with battling either. Just not your day, man. Sometimes people can't be consistent like me. Like, when you're the greatest, when you're top one in everything, you know, you can be consistent. Uh, there's nothing here. All right, we're at the bridge. And there's just one lonely girl right here. The glasses. It's me and Khalifa. This bridge always has the most lovely breeze blowing through it. It makes the perfect environment for a battle. On this bridge? I want to destroy it. My girl Gabby, what you got? A hop it. Okay. Nothing crazy. Uh, we have no more leaf blades. What about Exeter? Please be good. And we're paralyzed. Good to know. Good to know. Giga Drain. Whoa, I need that. I need that. I need Giga Drain. What am I going to obtain that? Exeter again. Please work. Oh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Use his bounce. And there he goes. And he's just gone like that. And he also has three Pokemon in total. I have no idea what to do. Dual chop. Swing it at the air like I'm retarded. 
two HP. Oh my, I think I die, right? Yeah, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. I have a revive. I go first though. That's good. I hope she has something where I can use Mega Drain on. So I don't want to use a revive. He has a skip loop. What is that? Oh, just evolution probably. I mean, let's just try Mega Drain. I got seven HP. Like that's going to do something. Try Excision. Please go first. Giga Drain. It's going to take all my HP. There you go. There you go. See you later, Sceptile. Have a good one, man. Did your job. We need our Fletcher to evolve and get some levels on him. Uh, we basically only got Duke left. Let's just test some skills. Is the Shadow Ball good against this dude? I assume this dude is grass, right? Nice, it's good. It's good. 1400 XP as well. The Jump Pluff. No, we're chilling. Okay. Shadow Ball again. Just gotta hope she has nothing against us. That's very good. Half damage. Bow. Yes, sir. Good job, Duke. 2300 XP. Wish Sceptile got some of that, but you know, it is what it is. The battle blew me away. Indeed. I'm pretty good at blowing people away. Okay, we gotta use a revive on our boy. Rupter. There you go. Let's use. Wait, he, does he sell paralyzed? I don't think he does. So let's just use one potion on him as well. It's just one. Only 20 HP. Whatever. Is there any Pokeballs we missed? No, there's not. Okay, let's continue through this mountain. Dang, that's bright. Ooh, okay. Ah, uh, I'm about to put on a repel fungus oh no that's a flesh we only have five max repels here's our first one try to get through this pretty fast i forgot i have a hoverboard so we use that i don't really want to fight you but i'll just talk to you guys oh welcome to route 13 oh you know this the cave is actually just the north end of kraganos the minerals in the region of the mountains cause the planet life and these caves to produce their own light i'm sure it does make it easy to see in here anyways if you keep going through this cave you will eventually run into floruma city it's the only city in aurora that's built completely inside a cave sounds peculiar doesn't it indeed does sounds pretty cool i have to see that i have to see that bad boy i already forgot the name of it but floridian city okay there's a thug waiting right here let's get to you up here real quick just to check out everything uh can we rock smash that let me get up here i don't think we can oh we have to do it from oh we have to have rock climb let's continue on our way we could pass him oh uh, we might as well fight him what you got, my friend? Are you on your way to Floruma City? I bet you're on your way to challenge the gym. That would make you a trainer. If that's the case, we should have a battle. All right, man. You know, you got to learn yourself. You know, there's people that learn from other people's mistakes and people that learn from their own mistakes. You're going to learn that challenge me does you no good. A vol beat. Okay, he's doing the Goku jump. You go Ultra Instinct or something. X scissor. Bug against bug. Come on. Ow. Yep. Half HP. I avoid that attack, you know, because I'm pretty quick. X scissor again. Oh, uh, somehow that just does that. Okay. And he just does that to me too. Oh, he dies. That's good. We don't have to waste another X scissor. 1600 XP. An Illumise? Uh, Illuminis? Illuminati? It's a cute looking Pokemon. It's the most human looking eyes for a Pokemon. But okay. Come on, man. Sceptile. Can't let this be happening to you, dude. Duke Dennis is pretty athletic, so he got this for us, you know. Shadow Ball. There we go. Please just let that be your last Pokemon. Level 55 Duke. He wants to learn to move Hex. My boy's into Witchcraft, okay? Let's see what he got. Hex, a ghost type move, power 65, actually 110 attacks. Inflicts more damage if the target has a status condition. That sounds pretty cool. I actually want Hex so bad. But I only want Hypnosis just to catch Pokemon. I mean, I can always catch another one. Uh, I mean, I can always turn these Pokemon into fighting Pokemon later on. I don't need it now. You might have beaten me, but that doesn't mean you're ready for the gym. Battle ahead, $1,700. There you go, Fletcher, finally. He's my shiny. There you go, Fletcher's involved in Talonflame. Look at he's all red. It's pretty cool. Let's continue on our way. Make sure to save real quick. We don't want to lose any progression. The repellent wore off. Okay, that's two out of five. Another karate master with the same haircut. This guy might be balding. This mushroom actually produces some heat from its light. I stand here between training sessions to relax my body. I think I'm ready for the next session. Okay, a good use of your time, I guess. A scratch. Oh, they always have these type of Pokemon. No, oh, I battery. Dang it. Oh, please don't get one shot, dude. Please don't get one shot. I forgot to revive Sceptile. Use a scary face. Okay. That just decreases our speed. We're chilling. Try Shadow Ball. Ooh, a Polyrath. Okay, that's good for us. That's good HP for us. My boy is not Mike Tyson. Good HP. There you go. Save some uh, potions and revive. So that's good. 2,600. Uber level 36. Battery level 35. Time to relax again. Why does he have to relax? All he did was stand up and probably point a couple times to tell him to attack. My boy did no training. Go up here beautiful oh look it's the constipated dude again walk over this little bridge oh we don't have to find him through my adventures i've learned to trust narrow wooded bridges some people find them frightening but as long as you could cross them and don't look down you usually make it across them alive indeed
Oh, brother. This guy got some cool looking hair. I'm writing an article on the bioluminescent life found in this cave. I've determined so far that the plants draw their energy from the large glint crystals. So naturally, I've gathered some crystal like Pokemon to battle for further research. Okay. I don't know what kind of research you need for, for that, but I know you do you. A carpy. Uh, leaf blade. Oh, oh, I forgot. We don't got that. Big drain. Let me know if there's any potions or something that reset like attacks. Power gem. Yeah, that does nothing to us. Keep using Mega Drain. We only have a couple left. Talent, you man. That's a curse. Oh, he has a sable eye. Oh, look at that boy. He's casting a spell on us. We only have four Mega Drains left. Oh, uh, please just one shot him. Please, please. Oh no. He's just quashed, but it failed. I mean, we have to use our Mega Drains. There we go. Please be your last Pokemon. We have so many more to go. A Gigalith. You know, let's switch it out to do Gigalith. Oh, I thought it was actually like just gonna be a big crystal dude, to be honest. Uh, try Dark Pulse real quick. Okay, that was pretty good. That's about pretty much half. At least he didn't do any attack towards us, a physical attack. Keep this man alive for a little longer. And that one doesn't do as much damage as the last one. I have no idea why. I'm not sure if it was a crit. Was it paid attention? Dark Pulse one more time. I guess my connection between Pokemon and Crystals was not so helpful. Yes, so, man. I told you. I don't have no idea why you were doing that battle, but whatever floats your bubble. There it is. There it is. The entrance looks pretty good. All right, let's enter it. I think we're in the new city. Lorama City. There we go. Okay. This looks pretty nice. I like how everything looks. I like all the crystals and stuff. It looks really nice. Even the mushrooms they have are really nice too. This is a nice place. If I'm able to put filters on again, am I a thing? Because it's kind of bugging out. I'll put it in the video before we continue. Pokeball stamps. What is this? The repellent wore off. Okay. I think we're chilling here. Let's enter this building. Welcome to the Pokeball stamp shop. Here you can try your luck on the stamp spinner and see which stamps you win. Pokeball stamps can be applied to your Pokeballs to produce cool effects as you send your pokemon into battle i'm here to assist you with using the step spinner the lady to your right will also assist you with applying stamps from your inventory to your pokeballs for being a new customer i'll give you three free spins ah uh, yes and you'll need a case in which you collect your stamps here you are brand new stamp case I obtained a stamp case okay now then would you like to try it now yes i will spin this boy oh you know i like gambling <laughs> Ah, we almost got the gold one. Okay. You got an orange heart stamp. Come on, come on. Gold, gold, gold. Max win, max win, max win. Max win, max win, max win. Come on, max win. Max win. Purple, purple. Ah, you've got black radioactive stamp. This guy on the left said the girl on the right can help us apply our stamps. So let's check it out. Welcome to the Pokeball stamp shop. How may I help you? Customize. Which Pokemon would you like to customize? Uh, first we'll go with Sceptile. Choose. Can I see it? Oh, that fits pretty good. Oh, it can do. Oh, so there's the mounts. Oh. Okay, we'll just do one on you for now. We'll choose him, and we'll add. Let's add hearts. There you go. Then. Customize. We'll do Greenzilla. Maybe I should have done the radioactive on the Electivire because he was from the sewers. I'll switch it up another time. We'll do the radioactive on him. And we'll do Goober. We have another green one. So we'll use that. And done. Okay, we're chilling. We'll save the last one for another time. Let's explore this a little bit more. Uh, is this the Poke Center? Let's just make sure so we know for next episode. D is. Let's heal him real quick. Yeah, this is a nice little city. This bridge with this beautiful waterfall, which is dope. Oh, and then here's the gym. There it is with this bright blue, which I really like a lot. Nice little color scheme with the moss on top too. Here we are. You know, we went up that little mountain thing, found Eric's Moo Moo Mill. I believe that's what it's called. But then we went inside the cave and there was a lot of stuff, a lot of crystals and all that. And we made it into the city, which is very nice. Then we ended off here at the gym. And we're going to end off here. Hopefully you guys enjoy episode 15 of Pokemon Brick Runs. And if you made it this far, I'll pin the first person that says Sceptile is the best. So try to be quick, you know, and leave a like and a sub down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.